Hey guys, it's me, Vix123. It's 11pm right now, and I've just got in from swimming training. I just kind of felt like sitting down and making a video. Um, always puts me in a good mood, just uh, gives me time to clear my head when I'm doing those lengths. So uh, now I'm back, and we have some Team Executioner Silence gameplay. And guys, 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 this was supposed to be a challenge, but you know what? I love this gun. This gun is great. There is nothing wrong with this gun. Actually, I got a really beast kill streak in one of the warm-up games, which I may share with you guys in the coming days. But this was a gameplay. We got the gameplay, tactical gameplay. Look at this. Just running in that tactical sprint jump there, just take him down. And that's what I kind of want to focus on in this video, rather than just going off on a random tangent about science or philosophy or me or some other random point technology. I'm just going to be talking about the game we're playing here, and maybe you guys can take something away from that and use it to improve your game, possibly. Um, so you'll see that, basically, this weapon has next to zero range. It's actually, you know, quite lethal at close range, but next to zero range. So you'll see, you know, when I'm moving through the map, I'm just going to be darting from doorway to doorway. You know, whenever I'm trying to avoid going across the mid-map, you know, I spot that guy there. I'm going to drop down. I'm going to fall back. I'm not going to go charging in headlong at him when I'm using this gun. I'm going to sit here with my teammate. You know, I'm going to peer out. I'm going to look out. I spotted those guys all the way on the other side. So I drop out a tactical stun. Use this middle section as cover. Let my sprint regen. Drop through to this building here. Then come out of sprint just to scan the doorways. Um, you know, drop out, pick up a kill. Boom, straight back into cover. Here I got a little bit out of my depth. Um, but still, I'm just going to make sure I put those shots on target, you know, here I'm not rushing in, I'm just holding the line. So I've noticed they spawn on the other side of the map, I'm not going to go running across the mid map, I'm going to use this flanking route around the side of the map, and look, that's worked there, I've come up behind that guy there, and a teammate stunned him up, I can go in on the attack, there was a huge amount of teamwork going on there, that guy was a little too far away for me to put any bullet hits on, so I run away, this guy, too far to put any hits on, I run away, I tell one of my teammates to come running in, and he takes him out. And again, with this guy at the back, you know, I'm going to use that cover. Not quite managed to pick up the kill. Drop behind cover. Pop back out. Boom, just spray out those bullets. Fortunately, there wasn't much I could do in that situation. Didn't see that guy coming. But you kind of get the idea of it. And uh, this is something I kind of do without even realising. And, um, you know, whenever I go for these gameplays, the majority of the time, I'll be at the top of the team. So uh, if you're one of the people who goes for gameplays with me, then this is what you need to be doing when you've got no range. You know, this stuff comes in with the team combat axe as well. But I think in this gameplay, for some reason, you know, it was just more essential here. Like, we're just rushing under the map. Because getting across the mid-map with a weapon like this with practically no range is tr is uh, definitely challenging and one thing I'd advise is if you guys kind of struggle with your movement around the map you know you tend to find yourself in situations where your gun skill alone isn't gonna get you kills and you know you're raging at the game seriously put on this weapon or a weapon similar weapon with next to no range and get used to the play style with it and then when it comes to picking up a weapon with a decent amount of range you know you'll find that your movement around the map is a fair bit better again you know occasionally I do get out of my depth but that's kind of inevitable within the game but I think you know that's less and less in uh, games like this one so that's the kind of idea and you know call outs were essential in this game just teammates spotting people here you know I decided to switch targets just because um, the distance was too much I can get a teammate to drop in that wasn't the greatest uh, decision there a bit of a bad call and the range again not gonna help me out there and here you know I'm looking my team are all down the other end of the map so I'm predicting the enemy team are gonna spawn here and uh, look there they are although again I didn't know there'd be a second guy right there but uh, that's what I wanted to kind of highlight and pick up on because I don't talk too much about the gameplay and I know you know some people do want to take away stuff from my videos in terms of gameplay you know get that KD up you know beat your friends when you're all playing get that top of the leaderboard so let me know what you thought of this kind of stuff if you want to see more um, you know advisory stuff like that and I'm not sure why I was shooting my teammate right there but uh, yeah, Team Execution of Silencer, pretty fun gameplay, and uh, yeah, I really did enjoy it. So, as always, um, thanks for watching. There's a few kills left in the game. Again, my teammate called that guy out from downstairs when he got killed. And here, you know, I just love just waiting on this doorway. There's no need to rush out. And, uh, you know, um, I spotted a guy there. Just wait, just play it chilled out, use this cover, drop down, put the shots in, reload, pop back out again. Boom, there we go. So that is the gameplay. Um, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Suggest some more challenges. Make them even more challenging. Step up the game. Here's the final kill cam. 
see me reload, duck down, pop back, get the kill, and in just a moment after the leaderboard pops up, what KD did I do? Uh, 19 and 4, which is, it's okay, it's okay, and this outro will take you to other random weapon gameplays if you'd like to check them out. Thanks for watching.